So it's about six in the morning right now, and we are at Tyler and Esther's place. We're gonna pick them up, and we're gonna go head to the ferry. It's the crack of dawn, and I haven't had any espresso, so I'm a little bit cranky. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Oh, that's just what I want. Yeah, tell, tell us, how are you feeling? Are you guys excited to go to Lao? Welcome. Uh, I guess this is your life, Catherine, so I can't really complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my life. <laughs> I am not exaggerating at all. <laughs> He's We're not. laughing at Chihuahua <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Turn your side. That is. You are smaller than your bags. So we're walking into the airport right now, and we just witnessed two Royal Thai Air Force fighter jets take off. It was brilliant. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a very long lens, so it wasn't worth recording. But like, the sound was piercing. The the Top Gun music started playing in our heads. We saluted the American flag. It was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Not all of us. Uh, Actually, I take back the part about saluting the American flag. It was just, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, an analogy for the the passion that we feel for these machines and their glory, right, Tyler? Yeah. G forces against your body, so your core has to be so strong. <laughs> what? You just, just keep talking. You don't right. have to act any weird. Yeah, your your core has to be so strong. He said, you have to be, pay attention to not have any muscle weight on your shoulders. So you can't be shoulder heavy, you shouldn't have big biceps. You need to be really strong in your core, work on your squats, work on your glutes. You wanted to know what looks Esther gives when she's annoyed? Yeah, what's the look? Yeah, yeah look. We're, we're getting there, Tommy. <laughs> we're getting there. How you feel? Hey guys, we found a luxuriant brush to brush up against. Best things about uh, flying in Thailand is that you've got to get to the airport and check in 45 minutes before your plane takes off. So right now we're at about like 47 minutes before the plane takes off, which is perfect for me because I like to get a little bit of a rush from maybe possibly missing the flight. That a little bit of adrenaline helps wake me up, get me in the mood for travel. It's my, shaped, my friend shaped. Is that from something? French shaped. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to embark at the Surat Thani airport. And obviously the best thing that you can do when flying is to wear a neck brace. It garners sympathy with airline staff, gets you preferential treatment, and also bring a blow up pillow to support your lower back. It's good. The airplane is a device that was invented by the ancient Romans to attack the Greeks. They still haven't found records of this, but I know it's true because I watched it in a movie last night. And I hope you guys aren't believing me because I really do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Enjoy first class. Have fun guarding the emergency exit. I will.
Okay, so we just landed in Bangkok and we got 15 minutes to check in for our next flight or else we miss it. So we need to go to B5. We're at B3. This is great. So we should be able to just go to B5 and then talk to them and say, hey, we're here. They're running real fast, bro. Excuse me. Sorry. So we're actually running now because we only have about 12 minutes left and we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the airport like where you normally check in, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why they didn't check us in for the second flight, but. Oh, yawning Esther. Wow, that was a beautiful sight. So how do you guys? So we made it onto our second airplane, and now we're going to head to Udon Thani and hopefully catch the last bus out to Vinchen. So we're back in Udon Thani. We haven't been here in years since I was with my mom and my brother. You've never been? I have never been here. I just interrupted you. That's okay. You can speak, speak, speak. First time ever to Udon Thani. We're excited. First time to Isan. Yeah, this counts as Isan, right? Right. I feel like this is Isan-esque. We could be wrong. I I think they have a visa on arrival with the with, uh, Lao visa also. But it looks like these guys will be done. Yeah, we have uh, like, we have five cars. Go ahead. Or I'll go in. Yeah, I don't mind. All right, you guys, here taking, we go. Taking packs in the back. Uh, I'll back. Okay, okay, go. There's a problem with the bus. We couldn't get on it because they wanted us to buy a ticket. They, they would not allow us to buy a ticket unless we had a visa for Lao, and we don't have one yet. We gotta get it at the immigration post. So we took this van, and they wanna drop us somewhere nearby the border, but they can't actually take us to the border. Across. So, can't take us across. They can't take they can us still across. They take us to the border where we get the the visa, but he can't take this van across the border. <laughs> oh, now, <I'm> <laughs> now you're on film. Now you're going to Tyler, he's the most magical mystery man. Magical mystery man. Woman. And his missus. <laughs> We've left the carriage. We may lose Esther. What's up, guys? It's going to be all right. Don't worry. About the thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> so we just uh, got here to the bus station and we found a nice young Thai girl who told us that we can go across on a bus. It leaves in 20 minutes, it's only 35 baht. And then on the other side, we're gonna catch another bus to the Lao Vientiane city center for another 65 baht. So the, the total trip from where we were until the end of the trip is gonna be like what? Like, it was 70 and 60 each. I, I'm not good with math either. So 190 plus 120 is uh, 200 and 310. There we go. Without cocktails. And without cocktails, yeah. <laughs> and that's about $10. <laughs> not like home. And this is Sue. She's a really nice Thai girl from the north of Thailand. North East Thailand. Lives in, in uh, Colorado now. Yes. And bounces around Thailand for fun. Yeah. Great life. Great life. Family. <laughs> so this is the, the bus that we're about to take. And one thing that you'll notice about it is that it's uh, it's basically it's like... It's primarily a bondo. Yeah. Uh... Hey, guys. <laughs> Everyone gets a set of seats for themselves. 
This is this is riding in style. We're really like this is the party bus. How, right now. how many different vehicles that we've taken? We've taken two planes today. We've taken what is it now? Two buses. Yeah, in, in your car. Our car, a boat. A ferry. We need to like ride a mule or something to like and a motorcycle, like everything. There's people out there and they're taking photos in front of the boundary post, which we're about to go through. This is like a maximum security border with, with machine guns and giant airplanes. Oh look, this little booth is the hat of a security officer. So we're just checking out of Thailand right now. And then we're gonna jump back on that bus. This was very simple. All we did was go in, they stamped our passport, we're walking out, we're going in just getting back on the same bus, and then we're gonna go buy another ticket here first, actually. I, I, I lied a little bit, a little lie. Got our tickets, and we're going to bus number two. Open cop. Uh, I see that you guys like the back of the bus. Yeah. We're crossing the Friendship Bridge. <laughs> Arriving in Laos right now. So we just disembarked from the Lao party bus. Quite a party. Here you go there. So the main thing is just to be confident. And so it's all, it's everything's about that. It, it, it was a success. We just went up to immigration, we filled out a little form, we paid 40 bucks each got our visas, and now we're just walking across the border, and mission accomplished. We got into Lao one day from Surat Thani to Lao. Amazing. All right, we'll update you on the trip as we go along. And now we're heading into another van. I don't think, I don't have internet or the address. <laughs> so we just arrived at our hostel, and the fearless leader, Tyler, has led us to victory. <laughs> One per piece and... This is very typical. Yeah, she said I'll give you one more cheese. One more cheese? I think... So what we're doing is we're climbing the stairs. And we always have to climb to the top level. Do it again. Okay. Where are you guys from? Oh, yeah. I have some bots too. So we just got on a Songtao here in uh, Lao, but I don't think it's called a Songtao. We'll find out tomorrow. But anyway, we're gonna go to the night market because. Tyler and Esther chose to stay in a part of town that is desolate. There's nothing around. It's all their phones. The only thing that we could find was like some random, obscure, like crunchy bakery and a restaurant called Lao Tao Lao Tai Food, which looked really good to everyone except except me because I'm a snob. And did you guys just notice that I think Tyler just made a breakthrough? Like, he just started vlogging all of a sudden. Oh that was uh, exciting. What happened? Oh truth. <laughs> truth is what happened, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Very Morocco. From Morocco. Hey, guys. Welcome to uh, Vien Chin. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very nice. So we're going to get into some craziness. Ange <laughs> haseo. Wait, wait, wait. You speak Korean? There's gonna be food and and booze. Food and drink. I said food and boobs. I mean food and booze. 
Food and boobs. Food and booze. Yeah, exactly. Burgers and bruises. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tyler Emmanuel Johnson exposed. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're here at the Walking Night Market in downtown Vinchen Lao and you guys suck because you're not here. We're awesome and you're not. You wish you had our lives, but you don't. So watch ours and have fun. <laughs> this is this is like torture, man. Oh, you see? This this is the kind of spot we want to go to. Did it have some chicken feet? Hey, handsome man. Some say he's related to Bruce Willis. Others say that he's related to Jason Statham. Others say he's related to David Beckham. But I know the truth. He's related to... I'm bald. <laughs> Tyler is our leader. We follow him. We worship him. We only do what he does. Yes. I'll hail Tyler. I'll hail Tyler. I'll hail Tyler. I'll hail Tyler. Worship the ground he walks on. Roll out the red carpet. <laughs>